How are you? I'm your old friend. Remember me, Michael uh -oh. Savage? Absolutely, Michael. How is Michael? I have not gone anywhere. I've been in your corner even when I couldn't reach you. I'm so glad that you're surging in the polls. Donald, first question. What are your internal polls showing? The LA Times says it's only a one-point differential. Wolf Blitzer, the liar, says it's 17. What are your internal polls saying? Well, they're doing very well. It looks like it's a very close race from the internal polls. And Zogby came out yesterday saying we're too behind. And I think we're doing very well, Michael. It looks like we're doing very well. That speech last night got a lot of good reviews, very good reviews. Excellent. I loved your speech the other day about foreign policy. I loved your idea of an ideology test, an extreme vetting process. I love stopping the nation building. This is what I think the people want. I mean, they're thirsting for this kind of leadership. Mr. Trump, Obama is leaving a scorched earth policy in his wake. How do you intend to save the U.S. military in particular? He is devastating it, and I know you're a strong military supporter. The military is totally depleted. We've got old planes. We have old jet fighters. We have old equipment. It's a totally depleted military, and at a time when we need a very strong military, and we have no choice. That's not like we have a choice, Michael. We have no choice. We have to build up our military. This is a perilous time we're going to build up our military but you're right he's leaving us a depleted military will you work with russia to defeat isis instead of antagonizing putin as obama seems to be doing absolutely yes i mean putin doesn't want isis any more than we do he has a tremendous hatred for isis and the answer is absolutely yes. And people that think that's not a good thing are very foolish people. Uh, Russia absolutely. wants them out. We want them out. And I'd absolutely work with Russia toward that. It's, it, it makes no sense to me. They're our natural ally against the most horrible scourge on the planet. And instead we have an administration, including Hillary, calling him Hitler. Hillary called him Hitler, antagonizing him, provoking a, a, a cold war. Now, last night, Mr. Trump, you gave a great speech to African Americans how would you help poor black people in this nation? What would you do? Well, first, let me finish. Or worse than a Cold War, because, you know, Putin is no baby. And you look at what's going on in Russia. They're spending a fortune on their military, including nuclear and including missiles all over the place. And, you know, we're not. And, uh, you know, Hillary is, uh, she's got the wrong attitude. We have, we can use Russia to help us knock out ISIS, and they want it knocked out. So I just wanted to finish that up. But Russia can be a tremendous help to us in knocking out ISIS and save us a lot by helping us. And that can happen with the proper leadership. As far as uh, your second question, we need spirit. We don't have spirit. We don't have any spirit whatsoever. We need law and order. We have to have it. And that was my speech last night. We need law and order. And you know what else we need? We need a thing called jobs, because our jobs are all leaving this country. We're going mm -hmm. to Mexico. You wouldn't believe what's happening in Mexico, Michael. It's, nobody has ever seen anything like what's going on there. Oh, they have a booming economy. I know that. They've stolen all of our factories and our jobs as well. So, you know, it's my next question. You're a great businessman. I said it on the show the other day, Donald. I know you can't listen anymore because you're running for the presidency, but the fact of the matter is, I said, wait a minute, his number one strength is he's a great businessman. He's America's premier businessman. And he said in the beginning he was going to run the country sort of like a business and bring back jobs. This is the strongest calling card that you have, in my opinion. Hillary has never run anything. And I would like to know... Uh, how do you plan on running the economy as a business? What would happen to our income tax system, for example? Well, it's a business with heart, though, Michael, because it is different than running a business in one sense. Right. It's a business right. with heart. You have to take right. care of a lot of people that can't take care of themselves. You have to help people. Right. And I always say that. It is, a, it is really a business, and it's certainly a big part of it. But it all, you, you also have to have really great heart. We're doing a massive tax cut for businesses. We're getting rid of a lot of regulations. We're doing a tremendous tax cut for the middle class, which is, I call it the forgotten class. Mm. Uh, say the forgotten man and woman, and it's true. But we're doing massive ta tax cuts. But you have no idea. Regulation for small business is absolutely killing it stopping it from opening anywhere else. The, the regulation is out of control. 
We're doing a tremendous cutting of regulations, which are totally unnecessary. And we're going to make it, we're just going to bring it back. But, you know, the tax cut, we're the highest taxed nation in the world. We're bringing it from 35% down to 15%. And jobs are going to flow into this country. And, com and companies won't leave. That, that's the thing is the average person doesn't understand that when a company pays less taxes, they will spend the money by expanding their business, building factories, creating jobs. The, the left wing assumes that by cutting taxes, somehow they're losing money. They're actually going to gain money because they don't understand business. Savage. All right, my friends, that was the first part of today's visit by Donald Trump to you, the Savage Nation audience. <laughs> question, which is, I know that you oppose this incredibly idiotic trade pact with the Southeast Asian nations. Uh, you have liberals trying to stop TPP, and you have Republicans trying to pass TPP. How come you can't tell the Republican Party this is not a good agreement? Because certain people, whether it's Democrats or Republicans, politicians, are represented by special interests. They are, you know, totally prone to listening to their lobbyists and, and their donors mm. and other things. And a lot of these donors are going to make a lot of money with this. They're going to make a lot of money on the other side, even if it's not good for the United States, okay, and for... Mm -hmm. So you have that. You always have that. It's called campaign contributions. You always have that in the back. But what will happen, TPP will be almost as bad as NAFTA, signed by Bill Clinton, by the way. Uh, NAFTA is is a total catastrophe, has been a total catastrophe. I'm going to totally renegotiate it, and if they don't renegotiate, we would end NAFTA in two seconds. It's a disaster. No. It's cleaned out our country. It's taken away a tremendous percentage of our manufacturing jobs. And and by the way... I remember, Donald, I remember in the, in the mid-90s when it was being talked about, Ross Perot said it would create a giant sucking sound south. He was 100% right. We need to create a giant sucking sound north. And, and bring those factories and jobs back to America. Everybody knows that. Which brings us to the big question, Donald. Everyone wants to know, is that wall still going to be built? 100%. You need the wall. The wall is going to be built. We're going to have strong borders. We're going to have people come in, but they're going to come in legally. But the wall will be built. We're going to stop the drug trade. The drug trade is, is mm. an impossibility right now for our country. Mm. And you know the us. patrol agents all endorse me. 16,500 mm. endorse me. They want mm -hmm. It. They know what's good for the country. It's easier if they have it the way it is now, where people walk right in front of them and they can't do anything. The border mm. control is, it like, gave me an endorsement. You know who else gave me an endorsement, Michael's Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Oh, I love right. the guy. He's great. He is one tough cookie, but he's great. He's a good guy, actually, but he is a great guy. So is Sheriff Clark up in Milwaukee, I mean, where the riots just happened because of outside agitators. And frankly, I'm sorry, the blame belongs squarely in the White House. Can you imagine the president didn't give a speech that night and say, I'm going to bring the force of the Justice Department down upon you if you don't stop the rioting? Can you imagine that, Donald? Well, can you imagine when you delete 33,000 emails and you're not prosecuted? <laughs> emails. She needs a carrier, I think. She needs someone to carry around in a... A carrier, the poor woman seems to be faltering towards the end, Donald, and you're getting stronger. Where do you get your strength from? Well, I think it's parents. It must be parental, but uh, yeah. it's it, people have been asking me that question. They say, you know, you have a lot, of, a lot of strength. You need it. We have ISIS. We have trade deals. We have borders. We have militaries and vets we have to take care of. You really need it. You need 100%. I think it's the meatloaf, Donald. I'm sorry. I think you should do a book <laughs> Mar -a -Lago. the Donald the Donald the Donald Trump strength diet. I think it would be a a, a bestseller. <laughs> Donald, I absolutely got to tell you your campaign is getting better by the day. The minute you uh, the minute you gave that speech the other day in my opinion on the ideology test, I know that you were reading a speech which was fabulous. You said you're going to remove those who preach hate viciously uh, if necessary. You said that Hillary Clinton wants to be America's Angela Merkel, which I frankly been saying for months, the girls, Merkel is a nut. Why would Hillary want to flood America with Syrian Muslims? No one can understand this. Donald, we need you desperately. And, and the last thing I want to say is everyone I meet, and it's not a lot of people, I don't give public 
appearances. The only speech I'm going to give is in November at the Radio Hall of Fame when I get the award. I don't go out in the public, but when I do, people come up and they grab my arm and they say, Michael, tell me what's going on. Is Trump going to win? I said, I don't know. I hope so. Donald, can you beat her? I think so. I think I absolutely can. I think we have the better issues. Uh, I think she's a very flawed candidate. I think she has a horrible past. She got away with murder with this uh, email scandal, and it continues onward. I think we're going to win, and uh, you're going to be the happiest man around. Well, am I going to be using the umbrella at the inauguration? You know, I've got a brand new umbrella waiting for the inauguration. That's good. I do just keep it ready. Uh, no, I think we'll <laughs> have a very interesting, we have 81 days. I think we're going to have an amazing 81 days. We have a big debate coming up. That'll be fun. And uh, hopefully we do well with that. And I think... Oh, Donald, hold it. There's a, there's a, there's a landmine. Who is going to be the moderator? The Republicans always let... The progressives pick some setup artist. How are you going to control for that? Negotiating that right now. It's a very important. Look at well, look at what Candy Crowley did to Mitt Romney. With that. Oh my God! What a snake! To be wrong, and it threw really? him. I mean, it really yeah. threw him. But Matt, uh, yeah, like Matt, Mr. Romney, when did you stop beating your wife? That kind of thing. Yeah, it was not a fair situation, I will say. But I think you're going to be very impressed and. Our campaign is going. We have the biggest crowds, Michael. You've never seen, like, we'll get 20,000 people to fill up 5,000 seats. It's, the whole thing is incredible. And we will, you know the expression, we will make America great again. We will do that. You know, we have that on our car here in Marin County, the most liberal county in the Bay Area. And we drive around with make America great again on our car. You should see the faces in San Francisco. It's lucky I don't need a bodyguard running aside the car because they'd like to pelt the car and kill us and turn the car over mm. but we love it donald we're not afraid of them we want to take america back from them they've destroyed everything that we love we're gonna do it we're gonna win we're gonna win donald uh, donald when you're out west would you have one of your wonderful assistants let me know so we could actually talk in person i will i would love that michael and i appreciate it your show is, is just a great show and i really appreciate it michael God bless you. God bless America. Let's make America great again with Donald Trump. Thank you so much, Donald. Good luck on the campaign trail. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mike. Savage.